A few moments later. Hey, down. I'm here to see Acting Senior Sergeant Roseby. Oh, okay, your name? Mick Arnup. Sorry? Mick Arnup. A few moments later. <laughs> One eternity later. It's what happens when you go to a hospital. Right, well, so my name's Don Rosen. Mick Arnott. Mick, can we take your phone? Yeah. Your... What's up? Nicole. Nicole. How can I help you today? I'm here to ask you if you're an honourable man. Candy? Are you are you a respectful man? I can be. So do you follow the law and do you pursue others that break the law? I do. Good. That was handed to your station a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. Here's all the names of every constable, officer in charge, etc., that accepted this file in in and around here in Queensland. Um, wasn't just us handing them in, it was a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. um, now, the Queensland Government have broken the law mm -hmm. um, and all the letters that, that came back from the Gidney Police are all in here as well. And they say no crime has been committed. So what's this? This is a citizen's crime report that was written up by lawyers. Yep, so, you know, just a brief... It, um, it, was brief, all, it, it was all sort of summary. It was all crap that was going on, mm -hmm. and how the government had no right to do what they were doing, mm -hmm. etc. Of um, coercing people to take the jab, etc., etc. Yeah. Now nothing was done. Mm -hmm. Now those laws were breached and broken. I'm here to find out why nobody was charged. Mm -hmm. On notice and I'll get back to you. Right. Second point. Oh, so that's that's point, that. point that's, one. This is separate paperwork again? This, yes. Yep. This, is, this is point two. Mm -hmm. Now, as I know from um, information that I've read um, from parliamentarian documentation, etc., right through mm -hmm. from 1901 right through to today's date. Mm -hmm. These criminals have broke the law. Now, all this information um, is actually treason at the highest level. Mm -hmm. So I want every Australian so-called politician, government official removed and charged for treason. Mm. Now, my the treason that I'm aware of, mm -hmm. I have now put this treason onto yourself. Mm -hmm. Right, again, I'll take that on notice. What treason has they... We, we, we have not had a legitimate Governor-General mm -hmm. since 1960. Mm -hmm. We have not had a legitimate State Governor General since 1965. Mm -hmm. Every law since then has been null and void mm -hmm. purely for the fact of the treason. Okay. Okay. So it's got the wrong date on it because we came in here last Wednesday. Yep. Right, so that's, an, that's point two. That's point two. Right, point three. Point three. <laughs> This is the affidavit that I sent to all these particular people. I think there's two full pages of them. Mm -hmm. Not one of them replied. 
Mm -hmm. Now, if they're so-called supposed to be politicians mm -hmm. that are doing their job, mm -hmm. why has nobody replied? Now, there was there was nothing mentioned in in this letter about all the other assaults. Nothing. Tony Perrett never replied to me until I went into his office and I asked him why mm. he had not replied to an email that I sent to him which contained that affidavit. Oh, okay. Why is it only just now and they're only going through a little bit of it? What about the assault up here? Yeah, I think your letter that I saw contained four or five um, instances. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's one. Gave us an answer that we never got from anyone over the past six years. So as to why this one, I don't know. I'm disgusted in this whole system. Mm -hmm. This system is very. I got injured at work because I was doing the right things, mm -hmm. and I get stuffed up in hospital and I get a $265,000 payout for the rest of my life mm -hmm. to cover my wife and my two kids. Mm -hmm. How far does $265,000 go? Now that scumbag, one of the scumbags in politics, he got paid out 200000 because he had hurt feelings. Mm -hmm. Hurt feelings. Mm -hmm. Isn't that Joe Hockey? That's him. But somebody that's that's done the right thing and gets injured, mm. can never work again, mm. he gets 265000 mm. Is that fair? Have you taken that up? Well, oh. that paid for by insurance, work cover? Uh, work cover? Have you taken it up with work cover? I've taken everything up with work cover. Mm -hmm. I can see that it's rejected medicinal cannabis and I've had a look at it. I can see it's uh, recommended by your doctor in relation to you've had a hernia injury which has had surgery and you've had ongoing pain problems since that surgery. The yeah. basis of the rejection is that it comes under a policy which they refer to as NEED. So it Nobody gives a flying fuck. Mm -hmm. They're creating a monster. Mm -hmm. I've, all I've asked for is justice. Mm -hmm. What have I got in my entire life? What have I got? Nothing. I was stuck up with a handgun on the 1st of November 1997. What did I get for that? I got bent over the table by Victoria Police. Mm -hmm. Now I came up here expecting to have a different result. Mm. It's the same shit. Mm. It hasn't happened to me up here though, while it did up the, up the road. It's happened to my kids. Mm -hmm. That's the line. That's where I am now. Mm -hmm. Nobody fucks with my kids and gets away with it. Mm -hmm. When is somebody going to do their job and have something done about all this shit? And then you're referring to this or? I'm referring to the assaults for starters. Mm -hmm. That needs to be dealt with. Mm -hmm. My son was king hit from behind down at Caboolture Rodeo by 10, 17 year and above olds. Mm -hmm. What did he get? He got a caution. Yeah, from memory, yeah. And that took months and months and months of that because when the ship was in the car, when you stole the car and crashed it, being drunk. This is the... The kid that they actually charged. They didn't, they didn't go after all the kids, they went after one. Mm. We got messages from the kids that were with him that did it, said, oh, you go to the charge, you can't do that, he didn't mean it. No, you did mean it, you did it. How are you getting messages from them? Like some people from the kids. Hey, your My son had the messages. There was your son getting those messages. From them? On Snapchat or something, but he screenshot a little. I've seen them all. And then the other incident that happened up here at the frickin... But the cops were taking you. They didn't care. Yeah, they didn't give a shit. Mm. Give a shit. And then up here where he got King hit from behind, no, King hit from the side, and then King hit as he was getting up. Yeah. And the, the kid got it. I understand, yeah, the kid's first offence. Yeah, I was cool with that. Mm. But it continued. And these pricks in here still wouldn't fucking do anything. Mm. And now it turned out that my son had to leave school mm. because he was getting threatened. Mm -hmm. Who done something about it? No cunt. So what do they want me to do? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands and let this shit go? 
Oh, I can understand your frustration. Um, is that this one from... James Nash. That's where the, the child got cautioned? Yes. I understand he got a caution, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yep. But it still kept going beyond after the caution. What? He kept was going. he was threatened, they put up a fucking memorial of the tree, R.I.P. Reese. We got photos of the whole lot. Was that reported to police? Yes. Oh, no. Nobody done shit. Who did you speak to? Oh, I don't know. I've got all the names and shit written down at home. The I'm, principal was the worst of them all. He turned around and I'll sit in front of him and said to Reese that he deserved it. And I, I was, I recorded that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if I, I had to walk out of the office because I was going to grab him, and I was going to, I was going to strangle him. And then he said, "When you come back to school, all the teachers will be out and yell at you. All the teachers will be out." Mm -hmm. Two seconds later, so when you come out of your classroom, make sure you walk past here so we can see you. We won't be outside. You're a piece of lying shit. He said it to his face. He said, "You just said that you should all be outside." Mm -hmm. So these. <coughs> Don't gang up on him again. When they, one of the boys that was involved with it, the other brother of the one that hit my son, threatened to rape his girlfriend. No. And it, it, all the kids heard it. It was all sitting in front of her in the classroom. And that was reported to the That school. was all reported. And what happened with And reported here. They cover it up. The schools do it. I know they do it. Every school does it because they need to keep their record clean so they keep their funding from the government. Mm. Hence the reason why I'm sick of it. That's why it keeps stupid kids out of school. To keep the... Marks up. They kick I'm, him out. I'm sick of liars. So tell them to leave. Well, you'd better off if you go and get yourself an apprenticeship. It's because I don't want them in the school because they don't want their marks to go down. If they did their job, they wouldn't be stupid kids. Oh. The whole lot pisses me off. It's creating friction. I know it's creating fric friction between me and my wife. Mm -hmm. But how far do I have to go before I get something done? I'm, I'm doing the right thing. I'm taking it to you guys that are supposed to be the law. Mm. But why do I keep coming up a brick wall? Every freaking time. Is it, or is it because you don't like the... Um... I hate the fucking pigs. Okay. I'm sorry, but I hate yeah, them. Yeah. So is it because... Respect is earned. We, as police, we've got the rules and laws and regulations that we've got to work the got to work with you. So, like I said to you, if it was your child, would you be happy? You told me on the phone, no. Well, no, I wouldn't. Right. So, next time you're talking... But next that, time doesn't give us, that doesn't give society carte blanche to go out and do their own I, thing. I you understand that. You haven't done that. Why? No, and, I, and, I'm not, and I'm not saying you have. Never done go that. and ask Tony Perrett if it was his child. How would he feel? Have you asked him that? No, I haven't. Okay. Go and ask all those other politicians. Mm. How are you going to feel if it was your child? Mm. They never get into these problems mm. because they live in the fancy rich areas. Mm. They don't have any of this. Mm. It's only the nice little sheep. And that's all we are, cash oh, cows. It used to be the law 20 odd years ago. Now they're just cash cows collecting money. I asked you for a warrant card on the phone. Mm. Have you got that yet? No, I mean, warrant cards have not existed in Queensland for a long, 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 and long you know, time. I think you should research that and find out why. This will come back to this other information. There's no royal assent on any law since and 1973. And every law states it. Not one. It can't commence until... Now, yeah, all this information in here proves that, mm -hmm. and it's all their laws that they've made. Oh, it's in up, this one. Two students hang up the fact that it says that the law cannot be commencement date cannot happen until ascension and proclamation. No. Can no, I just no, ask no, a bit no. of your history? What 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 what's what's your history with um with your with your opinion? I only got in the I only got into yeah, all this sort of after I got injured. Mm -hmm. Because while I was working, I didn't give a flying fuck what was going on. Dark. I was yeah, just yeah. going to work, doing my own thing. Where did you work? Uh, SFL File Tech. Down in Victoria. In Victoria. I got injured in there from lifting 160 kilos mm -hmm. by myself mm -hmm. when the scumbag that was in the excavator refused to get out and help me. I've had my time on the ground, now it's your turn. Mm -hmm. But they hadn't checked the 
came to build it wouldn't use them because it took too much time. Because it was too slow. Mm. Now, we had WorkSafe in there the whole lot. Mm -hmm. They all disappeared overseas, didn't they? No, one did. Well, one of them and did, Bob. And the other one didn't work no more until after the... Paper so they couldn't, prove, they couldn't prove anything because everybody just runs away and tucks, tucks under the carpet and hides. Well, that's not good enough. They fucked my life. How many lives did they fuck prior to me? Oh, steal the boss quick because I already had a go at him. Have a look at that. Is that our money? Under the belief that, that is the, the recognised currency of Australia? Right. Do you do you understand that um, the kangaroo and the emu is not the Commonwealth seal? seal? Back to the line and the unicorn. Hold it up to the light. No. It's it's counterfeit. That one, that's counterfeit. The, the one product that didn't have it, and now ones after that do have it, don't have it either. They got See that? They got the rat and the chook. That's counterfeit. That's counterfeit money. That proves that they're a corporation and they've sold us out. It's all in these documents. Mm -hmm. The whole lot. Mm -hmm. So, so your no, no. I want our proper government put into place mm -hmm. how it was. Mm -hmm. We the people mm -hmm. the rules are the government. Mm -hmm. They're only a parliament. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to work for us as people. Mm -hmm. You are there, you've even sworn the oath mm -hmm. to protect the people. Mm -hmm. But, you protect the but you're protecting the politicians. It's all in here, the whole lot. Okay. Any more information you want, you can email me and I can e email absolutely everything down. I can email you a book that's about that thick, mm -hmm. just on everything that these scumbags have done behind the people's backs. And they admit it too. They all admit it. No. But nobody listens. We, we, you expect us, not you, well, you're a person because you're a police officer, expect us to follow the rules and laws. Mm. We expect the same from everybody, from politicians and police officers too. Well, it's, it's, it's an expectation that the whole of society will, otherwise, if the society doesn't follow the rules and the laws, then we just descend into anarchy and exactly. it'll are we all very fair shape. Are we all equal under the law? We're no. supposed to be, yeah, but we're not. No one is. We're not. No one's equal. And that's proven in many cases in Australia, just, just in Australia. I'm not talking about any other, any other country, mm -hmm. just in Australia. It's fact mm -hmm. that we're all well, certain well, levels. It's not that fact that Australia has the most corrupt court system in the world. That's why you never see corporate law being fought in our courtrooms. They always go overseas mm -hmm. because Australia is the most corrupt. It's been proven. Do you know where you're registered at? Sorry? Do you know where you're registered at? Registered? Yes. As a, As a officer. Queensland police officer. All sworn to the Crown. There's no, you're not. Right you're not. You swore an oath to the Queen of Australia. There is no Queen of Australia. That is that is their well, definitions. Well, if you got registered to Cairns and everyone Cairns to the United States. Hmm. Follow the camera trail, it's all there. It's all there on the internet for you to follow yourself. They've, they've changed everything. And it's always the internet as well, you get to see both sides of the story too. So there's, there's what you read and there's the other side. But it's their side. These are the facts. That's actual government that I'm reading from. Mm. It's not people making shit up that I read, because I know people make shit up. Mm. Most of all, I don't have Facebook, I don't have mm. any of that, because none of it's real. Okay. It's fake. Do you think you own your property? Nobody owns their property. Either. We're not even supposed to be paying council rates. Mm -hmm. There is no government in Australia that's supposed to be forcing anyone, a burden on anyone mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. So why are we, we getting forced by the stick? Do it or we take it. Everyone thinks we're a lucky country. We used to be the lucky country. Used to be, but mm -hmm. greed, everyone wants to be a piece of the pie, everyone wants money. Do you know what the real Australian flag is for the people? It's, it's not that. Mm -hmm. That's a blue government flag. Mm -hmm. You can look it up. Mm -hmm. 
1903 to 1908 was the first flag ever to receive royal assent from King Edward VII. And it was blue and red. Blue for government, mm -hmm. red for the people. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a Commonwealth star either. Pacific star. Pacific star. There was no star of Moloch on it whatsoever. Oh. People will, they just will not do their own homework. Mm -hmm. Now how far can I push this? Well, I'm not going away because they've stolen our country. They've stolen all our assets. Mm -hmm. They've sold all our assets. Mm -hmm. They've sold you guys down the, down the, down the drain. Yep. Same as every other police in Australia. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to have any forces except military. It's supposed to defend. And that's all this country that's been railroaded. Now you'll probably go behind the closed door and laugh and think that it's all, all a funny joke. Have you read our constitution? No, not lately. I figure it all works, so there's no real need but to involved in it. Yeah, it but it's work. not working. It's not working. Because they changed that too, without anyone's knowledge. Look it up. And then I'll to change it. You can see I'm sitting here, I'm being honest, I'm being frank. Mm -hmm. Like, something has to change before we lose lives. Mm -hmm. So I don't even go to protests. People are like, oh, you should come, you should come. Mm -hmm. I can't. Well, why would I go and stand out in front of Parliament House and ask the prick come all? No. I want my freedom, I take my freedom. I'm not asking for it. Mm -hmm. um, so you still have Queensland driver's licenses? Yes. At the moment. You have Medicare card? At the moment. Because we're actually listening to a court case of all judges in New South Wales. In New South Wales, and every single one of those pricks said it. I'm still, I didn't record it. Mm. We know we don't need to pay licenses and registrations for anyone to travel, only when they're doing commoners. Mm. Yeah, it's not everyone we all know, but we still got to pay it, otherwise, you don't get to drive. You got to pay to play. Because mm -hmm. oh. driving at times can be seen as a privilege, not a right. No. It's not a privilege. Because the, money, the money, money, part of the money of registration and licences goes towards the um, the the roads. Does it? Sort of thing so where does Why where does the fuel tax go? Hey? Where does the fuel tax go? Well, that goes on to it all as well. Right. Why the roads are so shit? So oh, that that's, shit. that's another conversation that I may well agree with you on that one with the roads being shit. Why are we given four hundred million dollars? Uh, sorry, it was six hundred million dollars mm -hmm. over Ukraine. When there's no war. Shouldn't that money be spent here on the people? Some would, some would argue that, you're right. No, all would argue that. You go and ask anybody in the street. I didn't say what, proportion or whatever, would some would say. It's disgusting. And they put our fuel up saying, oh, it's because of the war and because of Ukraine. No, we don't Ukraine, 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 Ukraine tax, yeah. We do not get fuel from Ukraine. Mm. So why are we paying a high price and they're telling us what you come from Ukraine? Let me know when you find out that answer. Do you know diesel's a byproduct of the unweathered fuel? Let me know when you find out that answer too. Well, it's that scumbag up there that's supposed to be doing his job and he's not doing his job. And the other prick down the road there. Make more. Now, he's going to come and arrest me when I sit out the front of his, um, with his, out the front of his office holding up a big sign saying, uh, Parrot protects pedophiles. Well, and technically, every single politician and police officer protects them. Because no one done anything. That's right. Woods, Woods Royal Commission. Mm -hmm. We pay I was, I was 60 something million. There isn't much protection for pedophiles. It's too much. They, they're, they're in really, our politics, they're in our courts. They're in the police force too. It's not saying every single one of them because it's not, it's not true. Mm -hmm. It's like saying every person's bad, but they're not. When will it come back to being honourable? He's not honourable. He knows what was. What did he come out and admit to us? No, you a few I recorded it. And you also said he gets paid from the um, consolidated revenue. So there's no such thing as consolidated revenue anymore. So that gives it a time. You tell us, oh, we could have given times, and you say. Oh well, I'll follow this up. <coughs> um. Yeah, I can't tell you why they didn't require. Well, I'm going to stir the pot mm -hmm. because that is just pushing it under the carpet. You got that uh, reply that I spoke to you about? Nope. Oh. That's the first response I've copped. And this is why I want stuff down on paper mm -hmm. because they're all full of shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't like phone calls. Oh. I don't like lies and I don't like cheats. Oh.
It's the, it's the way of being brought up mm -hmm. to be honourable. I will Stand admit there, there are as a man. Some really bad coppers that, that we've met a few I've, in here that are really good. I've met a couple in here that are nothing but lying sacks of dog shit. Mm. Hence the reason this. And one of them was a lady that sat right there. But it won't be day. He was alright. Yeah, he was he was he was a nice cop. But he didn't want to know anything about all the laws that have been broken by the government. Yeah. Why? Because you don't want to go and arrest the government? Because no. they pay up? Right. The government, the government has done the wrong thing. Yep. Since 1950, 1960, no lawful governor, no lawful state governor right. since 65. Buy that up. No royal assent on any law. Right. I'll let you go because I've got to keep on going. I'll let that up. Well. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>